And here's why. Because we live in an abundant society. We live in a place where you could have literally weed delivered to your front door. It's like, what? And somehow, oh, that's liberty. No, that's actually slavery. That was Turning Point USA founder Charlie Kirk comparing weed delivery services to slavery. If you did a double take, you weren't alone. Because even for Charlie Kirk, like that's that's a bit extreme, right? I mean, I know that he's out there. He has some really cringe beliefs. He was a big stop the steal guy, but even for him, that's that's a bit crazy. So I actually had to check to make sure that he wasn't taken out of context or he wasn't being facetious. But no, he actually said that with a straight face because he meant it. Although he did realize how silly he sounded. So as salon writer Zachary Petrizzo explains, Turning Point USA founder Charlie Kirk, who is currently fighting off an FAC complaint over his group's refusal to disclose its donors, made the remarks on Friday while speaking at TPUSA's annual Young Women's Leadership Summit in Dallas, Texas. We live in a place where you can have literally weed delivered to your front door. It's like, what? And somehow, oh, that's liberty, Kirk said according to video of the speech posted online. The pro-Trump pundit then added, no, that's actually slavery. So stupid. Upon the completion of his initial riff, Kirk began to backtrack on his statement that's actually um okay that's actually a form of slavery for media matters watching kirk stated that's a form it's a form of being it's a form of being subservient to something that actually controls you that's not you being free a tpusa spokesperson didn't immediately return a salon request for comment on kirk's remarks mm, even though he did a little bit of backtracking and damage control it's still deeply deeply stupid Having weed delivered to your doorstep, not only is that extremely based, that is quite literally liberty. To ban that would not be like the promotion of freedom. That's like backwards mental gymnastic logic that you're using to like justify banning something because you don't like it. Oh, well, it controls you. It controls your mind. So like, I don't like it, ban it. I mean, you could literally apply that logic to everything pornography, which he probably wants to ban as well, uh, you know, not just weed, but alcohol. It's obviously a fact that you are more free if you are able to engage in things like smoking pot, watching pornography. That's up to you as an individual. And to take that away means you are against liberty. But in his weird mind, no, no, no. See, it's bad. I don't like it. So... If we take that away from people, we're actually giving them more freedom because they're not controlled by the substance, see? Smart. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, whatever they say, they're always going to frame it in a certain way, no matter how clownish it appears. So they literally will be against legalizing recreational pot use for adults, and then they'll frame that as, oh, no, no, we're in favor of liberty because it controls you. Dude, fuck off. That's not how liberty works, dummy. That's not the way that liberty works. The standard is if somebody is an adult and they know the dangers of something, which, I mean, weed is not dangerous, but something like alcohol, for example, and cigarettes, if they know the dangers, they should be allowed to do that. Consenting adults should be allowed to do what they want between one another so long as they're not hurting anyone else, not hurting society. But these folks who claims to be about freedom and liberty, like the opposite is actually true. And it's not just the issue of legalization of uh, recreational pot. It's also abortion. Well, we support freedom and liberty, but we also want to ban abortion. We literally want to tell women what they can and can't do with their own body. Like imagine if it was a crime to jerk off because all of those dead babies that you just skeeted into a sock, that's like genocide. Like imagine if they applied that logic to themselves. It'd be stupid and twisted, right? They also want to make sure that trans people can't use the bathroom of their choice. They can't play in school sports if they're young. They want to make sure that gay people can't be married. I mean, I don't know what his stance on LGBTQ plus marriage is, but I'd imagine that he was a little culture warrior. So, you know, it frustrates me that they really want to have it both ways. They really want you to think that they support freedom and liberty while they fight to take away civil rights, civil liberties. I don't know if he supports the Patriot Act and whatnot. Um, I, I can't think of a better liberty than actually living, but I bet he supports wars. It's just, it's so frustrating. Like, this is Orwellian. This is George Orwell's America. Like, this is what he wrote about. It was about war being peace. Freedom is slavery. And ironically, they cite George Orwell to argue that it's actually leftists who are Orwellian. It's just, 
everything is upside down and it's because of folks like him who literally are arguing that it's slavery. It's not free to get weed delivered to your door. You're a clown, Charlie Kirk, and nobody should take you seriously. But millions of people who do take you seriously, um, I hope that someday they come to their senses because that logic right there, that's dumb. That's not smart. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 